You all have the fire and the desire to win. That's good. Now let's see some aggression in this game. We'll need that too. Let's get out there and win. It's coming to on 2K Sports. The Purdue Boilermakers go up against the Indiana Hoosiers. We're really excited to bring you this match. We're here at Assembly Hall. I'm Vern Lundquist alongside Bill Rafferty and our sideline reporter, Bonnie Bernstein. Give us your take, Bill. I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Number three is one of the strongest power forwards in the country. His shot blocking ability frees other guys up to get after it on the perimeter. It's such a weapon. Number 14 also has to be mentioned as one of the nation's top power forwards. He's an outstanding rebounder. He might not be flashy, but he does an awful lot to help this team win. They're both warriors. We'll just have to see who emerges victorious. The Hoosiers get the tip and we're underway. Shoots! Not there on the three by number 10. He didn't have a lot of room out there and it kept him from getting comfortable on that shot. Number, number four, four drains the first bucket of the game. Number 10 inbounds the ball. Passes it to the outside. Number three swings it to the wing. Number 21 catches it on the free throw line. Number 10 with the shot. No good from three-point land. Great rebound. The big fella's not afraid to do the dirty work, Vern. Passes. Perimeter. Number 30 hands it off. Number four. Gets it outside from deep. Offline by number two. Let him rest that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over anxious. The last layup was dropped in by number 20. Number 12 dishes to the outside. Outside. Lobs it to the baseline. Number 14 backs down. With the fadeaway, gets the bucket. This game plan is simple. Just get him the ball. He's your main guy. Lethal. He is so hard to defend. Number 20. Feeds it to the perimeter. Number three. Catches it. Baseline. Lead pass. Outside. Number three. Gets it. Baseline. Number 10. Passes it to the baseline. Number 21. Fires. Connects from 10 feet up. Number 14. Inbounds the ball. Outside. Dumps it to the middle. Number 14. Nice speed by number 30. No way he was coming up empty when he got the ball that close to the rim. Under 18 minutes left in the half. Bounces it to the baseline. Nothing but net by number 20. Great delivery with the skip pass. That set up the shot perfectly. Number two gets it right corner. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, Bonnie Bernstein. Bonnie? Thanks, Vern. Before the game, I caught up with Coach Sampson of the Hoosiers, and he talked to me about energy. He said, our energy on defense is never a problem. Today, though, I'm challenging my guys to step it up on offense, too. That would make us really tough to beat, he said, and that would make me a really happy camper. Thanks, Bonnie. Far side, number 21. The up and under gets the lay-in. What a nice soft touch. Smooth as silk fur. And it's a two-point game. They're playing a 2-3 zone burn, trying to take away their low post and force some jump shots. Unloads. 
The offensive rebound by number 30. Has it on the perimeter. Number four. Dishes to the outside. Connects. Let's see that play again on the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. What a competitor. This is a one-man show. About 16 and a half minutes left in the half. Perimeter. Beats it to the top of the key. Number 51. Number 21 was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Swings it to the outside. Number 14 gets it top of the key. Passes to the free throw line. Backs in. Number 14 fades away. It's off. Just one point separating the teams. Number 20 gets on the go-ahead button. I love the way they're working the ball in tight. It's all about getting easy hoops. Gets it outside. Number four passes to the perimeter. Top of the key. Passes back to the inside. Block. And a foul's call. He needs to make sure he gets a piece of the ball, too. If he's going to foul him that late on an attempt. He completes the three-point play. Number 21 inbounds the ball. Just over 15 minutes left in the half. Number 51 dishes to the perimeter. Number three catches it out left. Releases. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. makes it and the next one could tie it up and he ties it up swing pass perimeter number 12 has it outside number two beats it to the perimeter right block Number 14, backs down. That last shot off target. Kicks it out to the outside. Number two, knocks it down from the wing. He just rose up and nailed it. That silky smooth release does him well from that distance. Number 10, inbounds the ball. About 14 and a half minutes left in the half. Passes to the left side. Number 21 has it left block. To the bucket. Tries to lay it in, but it doesn't go. Missing layups are going to get him a quick trip to the bench, Fern. Bounce pass. Down low. Stolen away by number 21. And it's a two-point game. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. Number 20. Gets it, baseline. Backs in. Shoots from the post. Dropped in by number three. I use the whole shot clock when you only need a few seconds, right? Number 12 swings it to the outside. To the middle. Skips it to the wing. Number 12. Dishes to the perimeter. Number two, gets it outright. Lead pass, outside. Number two, misses the trade. Good D to get that hand in his face. They're staying with him out there. Gets it on the perimeter. Number 20, gets the go-ahead bucket. What I like is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. A three-point spread on the scoreboard. Number 12 beats it to the perimeter.
Upside. Number four. Raises up. Backs in. Raises up. All net. Here's a guy who will absolutely destroy you if you don't keep him out of the lane. He's got a great presence on the blocks. He's so strong down there, and he's proven it time and time again. Passes to the top of the key. Number 51. Lobs it far side. Number 10. Catches it on the perimeter. That last triple off the mark. When a shot like that comes around, you've got to hit it. They just dared him to shoot. Outside. Number 14. Gets it left wing. Number 12. Dishes it to the high post. Number 14. Backs down. To take the lead. The second chance points were cashed in by number 14. The Hoosiers take their first time out of the game. some players from off the bench. Number three, inbounds the ball. Indiana has given up a lot of second chance baskets and Bonnie's near their bench. Coach Sampson was yelling to his players on the last trip, get tough, box out. He's so ticked right now, his team's allowing so many buckets. Thanks, Bonnie. Last shot missed by number 30. Terrific rebound. That's how you get into position on the offensive class. Number three, takes it up strong, jams it. No way he's gonna be denied there, he went straight over his man. About 11 and a half minutes left in the half. Swings it for a side, behind the arc. Rebounded by number 14, puts it up. Number 14, with a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. And it's a one-point game. Number 32. Feeds it to the baseline. Number 10, catches it on the perimeter. Married that last shot. Look at that shot. As soon as he turned around, he was ready to fire. Pass, right wing, number 14. Can't get the turnaround jumper. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Catches it, out right. Number 32, bounces it to the outside. Right side, passes it down low. Number three, pulls the trigger. Misses from seven. Right around 10 minutes left in the half. Number 20. Grab that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Number 32. Dishes it to the right. Number three. Catches it. Baseline. Backs in. Skip pass. Top of the key. Number 10. Catches it. Down low from 18 feet away. It drops. If he keeps hitting those mid-range shots, we might see him get a little more aggressive on this end of the floor. The Boilermakers will take their first time out.
The Hoosiers will bring a few more starters back in. Number one inbounds the ball. It's a four-point ball game. Number 12 swings it to the outside. Baseline lobs it to the baseline. Number 30 backs down. Can't connect after the fadeaway. Just over nine minutes left in the half. Number 30 grabbed that rebound with his elbows high using a little intimidation. Number 32. Number 21 grabs the rock. Misses the jumper. I love the defense there. They were all over that shot. Skips it to the low block. Number 12 gets it on the perimeter. Lead pass outside. Number one catches it outside. Number two beats it to the perimeter. Backs in. Left wing. Puts it up. Book that post shot by number 30. And it's a two-point game. They've got their defense, and it's... Minute, minute. Passes to the wing. Number 32. No good from three-point land. The D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they preferred the long three over him driving it in. Number 20 dumps it off. Dishes to the perimeter. Number two has it on the perimeter. Swing pass, perimeter. Number 12 has it high post. Number two to take the lead. Number 30 grabs the rebound. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. Takes the shot. The turnaround shot was off the mark by number 32. Number 12 beats it to the outside. Last tray off the mark by number two. It's a two-point differential. Far side. Number 20 pulls the trigger. No good from beyond the arc. The Boilermakers can tie it with the basket. Swings it to the perimeter. Number 12. Passes to the outside for the lead. Yanked down inside by number one. Flip up and in on that last layup. He somehow found a way to lay it up and in, despite the defense. That's explosive. Number 20 gets it outside. Perimeter. Number 30 backs in. Has it on the perimeter. Number 20 to end the drought on the money. That's not their favorite play to run, but they love it when it goes down. And it's a three-point game. Number 12, dishes to the outside. Top of the key. Beats it to the outside. Number two, the Boilermakers were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. I'm not sure he recognized that his target was out of bounds when he threw the pass, Fern. Right around six minutes left in the half. Passes to the wing. Number 20 has it on the perimeter. The long bar hit by number 11. You can't leave anyone that wide open, let alone a great shooter like him. Where's the D? Pass outside. Number two. Catches it, right wing. Number four, dishes cross court. Tosses it up. Tried to answer back with a three, but it's missed by number 31. Whoa, fella, even when you're wide open, that might not be the shot to take. Right wing. Number one, ends it off. Number 11, tried to bank it, but it's no good. It's a six point game. Number five, backs down. 
Feeds it to the perimeter. Number four. Swings it to the perimeter. Way off the mark. Line number 31. Right around five minutes left in the half. Number 23. Catches it. Left side. Lead pass. Right wing. Number 20. Has it on the perimeter. Number 11. Passes it to the outside. Number 33. Commits the loose ball foul. And that's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Perimeter. Dishes to the top of the key. Number four. Beats it to the wing. Number 31 with the shot. And hits it. Unbelievable. That's a shocker, Vern. You're not going to see him bury those too often. And it's a three-point game. Number 20 gets it on the perimeter. Backs in. Bounce pass. Right wing. Number 23. Gets it outside. Number 11. Can't return the favor with his own three. The D caught a break there. That's his shot. And he was wide open. Number 4. Bounces it to the outside. To the rack. Collected inside by number 54. A little too aggressive right there. I like that he's not afraid to be physical. But that was too much. He can't get the first. Number 14 is back in the game after a short rest. He sinks the second. Number two will leave the floor, and he's really been struggling so far. Number three inbounds the ball. It's a two-point differential. Perimeter. Swings it to the perimeter. Number 23. Backs down. The up and under. Leaves it up and in. Just over three minutes left in the half. Passes to the outside. Number 54 catches it outside. The offensive rebound corralled by number 30. The last shot laid gently in. Fantastic play to get the second chance points. Indiana has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Bonnie has a report from their bench. Coach Sampson was just talking to his coaches about that very issue. He wants his players to collapse their defense in the paint and prevent the entry pass. Way too many points inside right now, Vern. Thanks, Bonnie. Not much you can do about that except get out of his way. Right corner. Number 14. Misses the long one. Number 10. Dumps it off. Gets it outside. Number 33. It falls. Number 14. Inbounds the ball. 2-0-2. Left in the first half. Number 5. Dishes to the left side. Outside. Passes to the perimeter. They're going to have to hurry. Number four puts it up. Number 30 snatches it down inside. The last shot fell through. Tough bucket. I love that. Working the interior. Number 33. Feeds it to the top of the key. Number 10 hands it off. Number 23 gets it right wing. That last shot netted for three. That's too easy, Vern. 
If the defense expects to stop them, they got to get out there on them. Number 14 inbounds the ball, and it's an eight-point game. You know what kind of defense they're in, don't you, Vern? Min -min. Pass right side. Number 54 backs him down, releases. Number 14 has missed quite a few shots in a row now, and it's unavoidable that it's going to start affecting his confidence. Number 33 gets it left wing. Number 23 dishes it to the outside. Outside. Passes it to the outside. They're going to have to hurry. Number 11 fires from the wing. Catches the back iron and drops in. There's a real confident shooter. The D was draped all over him. And it didn't even face him. Launches it. Way off the mark by number 14. That's the half. He's headed to the locker room. With the score, 42 to 32. Let's get right to the power bar, player of the half. Who's your choice, Bill? Number 20 has been an assassin. He's been unstoppable and he's gotten the ball in his hands at the offensive end. Look at these highlights. You won't find a miss because all he does is knock him down. Oh, how pretty. Thanks a lot, Bill. And that's our power bar, player of the half. We're ready to begin the second half. Coach Painter is making a lineup change, and this might be a great decision. Some of these players play great together. Number 14 inbounds it to start the second half. Number four dumps it off. Number two lobs it to the baseline. Number 14, seven feet out. Just missed it. No three-point opportunity, but he'll go to the line for two. First team foul. And he makes the first. And he splits the free throw. Let's send it down to Barney Bernstein. Well, guys, over the break, I talked with Coach Sampson of the Hoosiers. They didn't have much to complain about with the lead they had at the half. And he talked about a part of this team that we don't hear about very often. He said, we got a tremendous lift from our bench in the first half. They were ready to play the second they stepped on the floor and had a huge impact in the first half. Thanks, Bonnie. Number three catches it, top of the key, to the strike. Number 21 ends it off, fires the three. Rebounded by number two. It doesn't matter how far you've got to go to get them, Vern. Every rebound is essential. Number 14. Catches it on the perimeter. Number 12. Swings it to the perimeter. Top of the key. Beats it to the right wing. Number 30. Bounces it for a side. He got fouled and still almost made it. He'll go to the line for two shots. Second team foul. And he makes the first. He gets them both. Number three, gets it, middle. Last shot, stuck through for two. Number 51, look at them work the ball around. Great job to find the open man. Lead pass, right side. Number 14, catches it, left wing. Number 12, dumps it down low. Backs in, number 14 with the fadeaway, number 51 grabs the rebound inside. Outside. Dishes to the outside. Number 10 dumps it off. Number 51. Passes to the wing. 
Number 51 gets it top of the key. Swing pass outside. Launches it. Missed long by number 20. Under 18 minutes left in the second half. Number 14 catches it on the perimeter. Number 12 skips it to the perimeter. High post. Feeds it to the perimeter. Number 14 shoots the turnaround. Gets nothing but net. This game plan is simple. Just get him the ball. He's your main guy. Lethal. He is so hard to defend. Swings it to the outside. The last play was cast in by number 10. Big three from beyond the arc. He really gets his legs underneath him to gain great leverage on his jumper. Number 30 inbounds the ball. 10 points separating the teams. Number four gets it on the perimeter. That last tray, no good. Oh, not real good shot selection, Vern. They've got to exercise a little patience and move the ball around. Pass, top of the key. Number 20. Gets it, baseline. Number three, backs down. Number 14, grabs the rebound. That's just a fluke. He's such a strong finisher ordinarily. Number 12, lobs it inside. Number 20, snatches it up. About 16 and a half minutes left in the second half. The beautiful pass led straight to the layup by number 10. Nice play there. He got deep in the paint and was able to post up. Youngsters, take some notes, because that's how you work the fast break. Outside. Dishes to the left side. Backs down. Number 12. Deflected. And it's scooped up by number 10. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. Last shot missed by number 51. Went for the kiss, and it just didn't happen. Passes to the outside. Number 14 gets it top of the key. Lob to the middle. Backs down. Number 14 from the low block. Can't connect. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over anxious. Number 10. Raises up. Off the mark from the land. Just over 15 minutes left in the second half. Slam down by number two. Send it in. The D was probably smart to get out of the way of that one. Number 10 inbounds the ball, and it's a 10-point game. They're in a 2-3 zone with minimum principles. They'll try and shut down those passing lanes. That last three-pointer was missed by number three. Gets it, baseline. Number two, throws it up. Cuts the lead to single digits. When he gets a nice look like that, it's almost automatic. The defense needs to work harder at that. Number 51, beats it to the baseline. Number 20, hands it off. Watches it. It's ripped down for an offensive board by number 10. Terrific rebound. That's how you get into position on the offensive glass. Left wing. Dishes to the outside. Number 10, passes it back to the outside. Number 20, catches it outside. Number three, gets the offensive rebound. Releases. Comes up empty down low. I like the way he battled for that rebound. So strong. Perimeter. Number 12. Catches it outside. Number four, knocks it down from three-point land. He's an assassin from out there. The D was on him, but he found just enough space to get it off. It's a five-point game. Number 20, backs down. Number 51, passes to the right side. It's stolen by number 14. About 13 and a half minutes left in the second half. Number four, dumps it off. Stolen away by number three. Number 51 through the bucket. Can't stop the run. 
Couldn't get the friendly kiss. Perimeter. Number 14. Backs him down. It takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. The Hoosiers will bring in some players from off the bench. And it's a five-point game. Swings it to the perimeter. Raises up. Corralled by number three. Rips it down with one hand. No need for anything fancy. Just send it in. About 12 and a half minutes left in the second half. Number one gets it. Left wing. Lead pass. High post. Number 12. Number 14 takes the shot, sinks it. And here's the power bar triple threat replay. Fantastic play. Look at the degree of difficulty on this one. Number three inbounds the ball. Has it outright. Number 10 bounces it to the right. The steal by number 20. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Third team foul. He completes the three-point play. Indiana calls timeout. Number 23, inbounds the ball. Perimeter. Top of the key. It's ripped down by number three. Number three, who ran that offensive board like it was no problem? What a battler. The Boilermakers facing a narrow deficit. Number 20 lets it go, gets the three to fall. Even against an average score, the defense has to be more aware. Absolutely, Vern. About 11 and a half minutes left in the second half. Passes it to the perimeter. Number 30 catches it, right wing. Swing pass, perimeter. Number 30. Backs him down. Number 14 corrals it, and that's his eighth rebound of the contest. Number 14 grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Catches it, baseline. Number one for the lead. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. Fourth team foul. He can't get the first. Coach Painter has a new lineup that isn't extremely experienced. This could have an effect on the team's chemistry. Let's see. He ties it up. Number three inbounds the ball. Under 11 minutes left in the second half. Number 20 beats it to the outside. Outside. Swings it to the outside. Number 32. Passes it back to the perimeter. Take it to the 
Number 20 catches it far side. Last shot was buried for three. You can't get that lazy out there on defense. You just can't do it. They're in a two-three zone with minimum principles. They'll try and shut down those passing lanes. Pass, perimeter. Number 30. Backs in. Last shot laid in by number one. How smooth was that? Great move to take it to the tin. The Hoosiers are clinging to a small lead. Has it on the perimeter. Number 30 dishes it to the top of the key. To the middle. Number 21 hands it off. Elevates. Tin down with one hand by number three. Taking it strong to the tin. Sit it in. About nine and a half minutes left in the second half. Passes to the outside. Number one, the baseline J. Number 30 grabs the rebound inside. He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got hacked. He can't get the first. Frustrating. They desperately need to narrow the gap, and instead, they come away empty. Number 30. <laughs> Dumps it to the inside. To the rim. Beautiful up and under layup by number three. Oh, is he quick? The blue ball. Number 30 inbounds the ball, and it's a five-point game. Number 20 has it on the perimeter. Stolen by number 30. Great anticipation and quick hand. It's a deuce the other way if you don't protect the basketball. Number 23 is back in the game after a short rest. No good, and they don't get the three-point play. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. Out left. Number four. Gets it out left. Number five. His first shot of the game. The high bounce carries it out. They got just enough pressure on him to make him alter his shot and force the miss. Number 30 feeds it to the right wing. Dumps it off. Right wing. Dishes to the top of the key. Number 20. Puts it up. The shot in the paint was drained by number 21. Coach Painter had no choice but to call timeout and try and stop this run. They don't want it to get out of hand. Number two inbounds the ball. The Boilermakers will try to put a stop to this run. Swings it to the outside. Count the basket by number five. Even against an average score, the defense has to be more aware. Absolutely, Vern. It's a six-point game. Number 30 gets it on the perimeter. 
Pass left side. Number 32. Has it high post. Number 20 dumps it off. Number 32 passes it to the outside. Only a few seconds left in the shot clock. Far side. Number 20 releases. Answers right back with his own three. The student section is loving it. Dishes to the outside. Number five. Launches it. Dropped in by number four. What an answer. They came right down the court and got the three on their end. And it's a six-point game. Feeds it to the outside. Number 30 grabs the rebound. About six and a half minutes left in the second half. Number four has it top of the key. Terrific rebound. That's how you get into position on the offensive class. Left wing, number 54. Backs in. Number two, the tough shot connects. He did a nice job of determining what the defense gave him, and he took it. We see it so often, that area from 10 to 15 being a sweet spot. Gets it, left wing. Number 20, passes it to the outside. Left wing, dumps it inside. The Hoosiers will retain possession. The Hoosiers are making substitutions. Number 33 inbounds the ball. Let's it go. The three off the inbound is nailed by number 20. Number 51. You have to love how they move that ball up court in a hurry. You got it, Bill. Perfectly run fast break. A seven point spread. Number two tosses it up. Number 21 hauls it down inside. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. Number 10, shoots. Can't connect on the quick shot. He can't be happy with that miss. With all the room he had, he's got to make that shot. Dishes it to the left. Number 14, has it baseline. And here's the State Farm drive of the game. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Lead pass, upside. Perfect shot by number 10. I use the whole shot clock when you only need a few seconds, right? Number two. Gets it, top of the key. Number four, drills the long three. He's got such a sweet stroke. Right in the face of the D, he knocks it down. Number 51, swings it to the outside. To the inside. Kicks it out to the outside. From long range. The shot was good by number 51. And it's an eight point game. Number two. Beats it to the outside. Number five. Gets it outside. Pass. Baseline. Backs down. Number 14 goes up, lays it right in. Once he gets the ball in tight, it's so tough to stop him. Under four minutes left in the second half. Number 10. Has it top of the key. Number 33 passes to the outside. Anticipates the pass. He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Couldn't get the shot, but he was fouled and gets a trip to the line. Sixteen foul.
makes the first. Number 30 is back in the game after a short rest. He gets them both. Number three inbounds the ball. The Hoosiers still hold a narrow lead. Outside. Dishes to the right side. Number 10 backs him down. Number 20 swings it to the outside. Number 10 gets it outside. Lob right side. Goes up. Number 10 on the money. That deserves a look on the Power Bar Triple Threat Report. That's something else. No wonder we're still talking about it. 255 left in the game. Number four. Catches it outside. Number two. Lobs it to the baseline. Backs down. The up and under. Rebounded by number three. That's his ninth rebound thus far. Ooh, it looked like he was going to have an easy finish. Tough break there, Vern. That last shot, good by number 10. Number two inbounds the ball. An eight-point differential. Left side. Number 14 backs down. Last shot missed by number two. The Hoosiers can push their lead to double digits. Skips it to the right block. Number 51. Passes to the outside. Number three. Gets it top of the key. Dumps it down low. Number 21. Hands it off. Backs down. Number three. Gets some hang time. Jams it home. Well, no big surprise that he's laid it up. This guy is just a dynamic scorer. Number 30, finishes with the soft touch. He did everything right on that one, taking it in hard to the 10. 126 left in the game. Gets it left side. Number three, dishes to the outside. Perimeter. Beats it to the top of the key. Number 20, passes to the baseline. Number 10, stepped on the line, and they will give the ball up. It was too late when he realized he was on the line. You've got to be a little more heads up, Vern. And it's an eight-point game. Number four gets it outside. Outside. Number two gets it outside. From 17 feet out. The shot was missed long by number 30. Number 14 has picked up his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Number 10 inbounds the ball. The Hoosiers have this game pretty much in the bag. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. Eight second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. That's his third personal foul. Fourteen foul. Number twelve has picked up his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Fifteen foul. Number twelve has picked up his second foul. That's his second personal foul. Number 30 commits the foul. We're in the bonus, and they'll go the line for a one and one. Seven, two, five. Gets the first, and that will give them a nine point lead. He gets them both. Purdue carries it up. Four second differential between the shot clock and the game. Number four bounces it to the middle. Swatted away. 
The Boilermakers will get this one back. Oh, that would have been a fantastic pick. Great effort. Number four, off the inbound, misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. That's his third personal foul. Seventh team foul. Off on the first. Gets the second, and that brings them within single digits. The Hoosiers look like they have this one wrapped up. Number three dumps it off. Number 14 gets ball for the reach. We're in the bonus, and they'll go to the line for a one and one. That's the first, and that will push the lead to double digits. Doesn't get the second. Upside. Puts up a three. Missed it. And that's all for this one. The Hoosiers knock off Purdue, 85 to 75. Now let's send it to the studio and Greg Gumbel with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern, and welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac game-changing performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The Indiana Hoosiers took off on a huge scoring run that all began on this play right here. This sparked the run that simply broke the back of the opposition. Thanks, Greg. For Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery, I'm Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports.